it's actually the right thing to do. They have to make sure that people feel safe in the car and outside the car. San Jose State engineering professor Ahmed Banafa says Cruz needs to look at how deep the problem is. There have been a number of incidents of the self-driving cars malfunctioning on San Francisco streets and in one recent case the victim of a hit and run driver was run over, trapped and then dragged by a Cruz car. Cruz says the driverless pause is not related to any new on-road incidents and it will allow them to examine their processes, system and tools. But office says they need to debug. They have to look very hard at both the software and the hardware. It's definitely a complicated uh, machine. There is no question about it. Testing the AVs in San Francisco might be something crews should also reconsider. Banafa says the city's topography, traffic, and geography make it tough to test in. But San Francisco is also ground zero for artificial intelligence. Cruz's biggest competitor, Waymo, has not faced the same heat from regulators, but pushback has been growing. Experts say the mixed reviews will likely continue but don't expect driverless cars to go away. It's still growing. It's still at a stage which is learning their way. The future is the, the, the driverless cars. That's the future. And, and a lot of people would agree on that. It's just we want to do it safe. We want to have a safe future. Well, Cruz does say that this pause is only going to affect their driverless operations. Their supervised AV rides will continue. And the California DMV has provided Cruz with a series of steps that need to be fulfilled before those driverless permits are reinstated here.